Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This was on how to use Windows 10 desktop backgrounds. Um, Dick Evans wrote an article on this on davescomputertips.com. It's a great article. It's about how do you use the, obviously, your desktop backgrounds on Windows 10. And I'm going to show you how to do it in the video. Since I'm the video guy, I get to do that. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, but before we get going, please hit the like button on the video. It really helps out our channel. And also hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos coming out. All right, so let's do this. Let's, let's go through uh, Dick Evans' um, process. It will be a little different because I'm telling it, but it will pretty much take you to the same place. So if you want to see that article, actually, I'll put a link down below so you can check it out. All right. Let's move on. So the, how we do this, so we're going to do this. We're going to get out of this screen and go to your desktop and you're going to right click on the screen and you're going to go down. This is the reason I'm going this way because even Dick Evans said this. He said that this is this way of going to the settings we need to get to has been around through many generations of Windows. So we're going to make it the way we always do it. We're going to go this way. So there's other ways to get there, but then we're going to go this way in the video. Okay, we're going to right click, like I said, and so open this up. You're going to go down to personalize, and that will open up this window. Okay, and now this is where you can mess with your backgrounds. So the first choice they give you is a picture. So you can choose a picture. So if you click the backgrounds here and you click this little down arrow, it's going to say solid color, slideshow, picture. We're going to do picture first. And right now I have my Star Trek picture up here, but I'm going to browse. So you can go here, and there's usually a lineup. Usually they have some defaults here, um, and these are usually the defaults right here and here. Um, these ones I added. So you can choose one of those. So if I click on this one, it's going to change my background, as you can see up here in the, the preview. So you're going to click on Browse because I want to choose one I just downloaded, which I think is cool. It's more Star Trek because I'm a Star Trek fan. So you're going to click on the one from your from your computer. And then you're going to say, once you click on it, it's going to say you want to choose picture. As long as the file name is here, choose picture. Click that button. And now it shows the new picture for my background. So now that will be my background if I'd use the picture part of the background. So now let's move on to another one you could do. Actually, before we do, go down here. It says choose a fit. Now that's fill, which I like to use because it just fills your monitor screen. So if you have two monitor screens, the picture is the same on each one. But if you want to just fit it to it, so if it doesn't fit all the way, you can do that. You can also use stretch, which will stretch it. So I don't need to worry about that. You can tile it, which is kind of odd, I find. So if you do that, you're going to go tile. It will tile it. Also, you can use center it. And then you can also use span it. Um, different things. Now, spanning is kind of weird because it stretches it across all your monitors. So it stretches the whole thing out. I think that's stretch, but it's called span. So don't ask why stretch isn't the same. So you can do it that way. So I like to use fill because I like to have the image, you know, really nice in the middle of the one, the main, the main screen and the second screen. They're all just the same image. I like that. I don't like to stretch them across it. So that's how you do that, how you choose an image. So you can choose theirs or you can choose one and browse your computer to get one. The other thing that you can do is you go back up to the background option. You click on the little arrow, go to solid color. So that's ugly. Um, I'm not going to use that solid color. Sometimes you can just use blue. Sometimes people like to have a solid color if they don't want any pictures. You can also choose custom color, which is kind of nice. You can actually change it to whatever you want to. Turquoise. We'll go to turquoise. Um, and if you want you choose your color you like, you hit done and it will change it. And that will be a new color. Now, if you like solid colors, that's a really cool thing. Some people like lighter colors. I don't really like solid. I like having pictures. I love pictures in the background. So that's one thing you can do with solid colors with the background from Windows 10. The other option you have is slideshow. Now, slideshow, I get this asked a lot in my business. People love to have slideshows, um, especially with their family pictures rotating on the screen, which is very cool. Now, I I, so basically, if you want to do this, you can actually go, you have slideshow um, selected here, choose albums, uh, albums for your slideshow. So you're going to choose, choose a folder that has all your pictures in it. You're going to go to the browse and you're going to find that folder. I do not have any on this. This is more of my work computer. So I don't have any video, any pictures of my family that much on here. My pictures are on my other main computer. Um, so I don't really have anything on here that's going to work, but I can choose like the banner 
banner would be one. I'm going to choose banners and it's going to pick whatever. That's why you have this really stupid sale thing in here because it's for my work. <laughs> and it's ugly. You don't want to put that out there. But if you have family pictures, you can do it that way by choosing the file the in your system, your folder in your system that actually has all those pictures in it. Or you can create one and just choose that for your slideshow. Now with the slideshow, once you choose your your folder, you're going to come down and you're going to change picture every one minute, 10 minute, 30 minute, one hour, six hours, one day. I'm more of a um, 10 minutes. That's kind of nice because you get a picture that sits there for 10 minutes and it rotates to another one. Um, you could have it shuffle so it doesn't go in order inside your file so it doesn't go down the order. It just mixes them up. Uh, let slideshow run even if I'm on battery power. Now that's another thing. If you're on battery power, there's different settings. So if you're plugged into the wall, this will work, but I don't mind because it I don't know if it takes more power to do this, but if it does, that's fine. So that's how you do it. You can turn those on and have those all set and you can choose the fit just like I had before. You can center it, you can span it. I spanned it. That's ugly. I hate that stretch. I never understand. I did stretch it. It worked. So it does change things. Um, so that's kind of how that works. So you want to like slideshows. I know a lot of people love slideshows. So this is one you're going to want to show. Um, this is my mom, her age group. They love doing that. I'm not going to say how old my mom is because she'll get mad at me. <laughs> I'm not going to go there. But this is what you do. So you can you can actually make your desktop personalized to what you like. So you can have solid colors. You can have a slideshow of pictures. Um, you can also have just a cool picture you found online like I did, which is this one right here, which is the coolest one ever. I have this one, but I think I really do like the... Um, the um, newer starship right there so i don't have the newest one for the new show but this one will do so that's how you can add one how you i guess how did he say it as dick evans says how to use windows 10 desktop backgrounds and that is how you do it so if you guys you know have any questions please put it down in the comments below but please go check out his article i think he did a great job on it and i i think you should check it out it's always nice to have the reading part because it has all the pictures in it and then also you do the video part for the people who are more video oriented but share this with your family it's really helpful especially the slideshow part i think that's like one of the cool features that people always ask me about how do you do that how do you do that this will actually show you how to do that so get out there change your desktop, make it more of yours, your Windows 10 users, play with it and enjoy yourself. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com uh, where all, all our articles are and make sure to subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching.